Shahao, this is Haris Bakri. In this video, I'd like to showcase to you a quick tutorial on how you could validate or authenticate the account with email and phone number. Let's get started. So, a quick one, you just use the default one. Uh, so, obviously, you need to create a new page for confirmation email. So, there are two, two methods that you can use a page is loaded or by clicking a button. So, as you can see, when the button is click, being clicked, so I create a workflow where make changes to the thing, email authenticated equal to a yes or when the page is loaded, email authenticated equal to a yes. So you can use either either both of these options. So you can see here on the data of the user, so I, I create uh, email authenticated by boolean method, boolean type, and then also phone number authenticated by yes or no as a boolean also. So, so that's, uh, that's it for the confirmation email. And then let's get back to the authenticated account for the phone number. So there are two uh, plugins which are random number generator and also Twilo. Right. Um, for the Twilo, you may need to set, uh, you know, sign up and sign up your personal account or your company account and so on with uh, account as ID. And yeah, that's it. So you may need to insert the random number generator and then put it from minimum to 1000 to 9999. And then, so first thing first, when a user um, to, uh, to authenticate your phone number, you may need to insert this. So put in the send text message for the Twilo. So from is the number that you have with the Twilo account provided. And then two, you may create a, you know, a specific country code or any number that user needs to sign up. But do keep in mind when you are in the trial version, you may only need to to have uh, you only can authenticate with your own account only right cannot be other other account that has been uh, validated on the um, you know Twilo so so whenever the you know when the number is authenticated you will be received the SMS so so let's just say that it's confirmed and so on so you can see here let's just assume that it's confirmed right so so the the, the number field must uh must be matched to the random number a generator right so i also added a small touch up which is the alert view so whenever the the number is matched with the the field you'll verify if not you're not verified so that's it thanks for watching and see you guys soon bye bye